What's going on guys, Nezra here, welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers, I unbox them, get my first impressions, and after that, I show them off on feet. Today we're gonna to be checking out none other than a very popular shoe from Nike, the Air Max 95. This is the black and gold colorway. This is actually my first ever pair of Air Max 95. Today I'm gonna to be giving you all the full review. I was gonna do an unboxing review on these and I don't know what happened, I just got busy and I ended up saying, you know what, forget it. I guess you're gonna get a full review today. So let's go ahead and just start off with when I ordered these shoes really quick, just because this is an interesting story. So I ordered these shoes in May of like this year, 2023, like May 26 or something. These things did not show up. I don't think they ever got stolen or anything. I personally think that this crap might've just fell off the truck or got damaged because it said it was out for delivery, but it never said delivered and they never like I never ended up getting the pair of shoes. They literally just lost the pair of shoes. I don't know what happened. So shout out to Jill because she was the one who actually helped me um, get this pair of shoes and she gave me free one day shipping because of everything that happened. And yeah, it got to my job ASAP. So I just, instead of getting it delivered to my house, I said, let me go ahead and deliver it to my job. That way I'm there. Sure enough, it arrived very quickly and uh, it was here. I paid $120 for these. I got this in a size 11. I thought it was 10 and a half, but I got these in size 11. They fit, they don't fit true to size because I usually wear uh, 10 and a half, but for some reason with almost every Nike shoe, I'm wearing an 11, sometimes 11 and a half. But I went with this color mainly because on the website, it looked more gold, but it's more like a tan color, which I'm not mad at though. I like the reflections uh, on the upper here and then the little uh, rivets kind of, they have little reflectors. On the bottom or really the side, I really like how it goes to that gold color. You have a nice little Nike stripe right there. It is very minimal. This is like one of their only minimal shoes when it comes to having the Nike logo and they still put it in a lot of spots. Like even there, that's a nice reflective point. Um, obviously on the bottom, they really don't push the Nike logo is hard they put air max right here and obviously you have your air bubbles and then again the bottom i actually really like this shoe it feels really good on feet the grip is pretty solid not like uh my adidas continental rubber grip but it is a pretty solid grip they feel really amazing i wore these for like eight hours in an amusement park and i had no issues my feet weren't hurting at all this is probably one of my favorite shoes that i bought from uh, nike uh, I actually like these more than the Invincible Run 2s. Invincible Run 2s, I'll have a whole review for that in the future. The first thing that I noticed when I put these on my feet were how light they were. They feel really nice on feet, but on top of that, they feel really light. Um, I really like that too, because I don't want a heavier shoe. I will say that when you wear a, when you wear an Ultra Boost type of shoe, uh, they do tend to be a little bit heavier just because the foam is heavy. The build quality is pretty solid, at least for this pair, they seem pretty solid. Like I said, I haven't really noticed any damage and I've worn these a nice amount of times now. Now I do wanna get the all black pair and the all white pair, and there's about three other pairs after that that I wanna get. This one is the only shoe that I really want a lot of colorways in. I don't know why, but I really like the design of this uh, shoe. I really do like it because I love how it goes like through the three. It goes through like little gradients or like hues of color. It's like black and then a little bit lighter and then we'll give you the actual color. They did really well as far as the color blocking, the color matching. I don't like shoes that have a white sole or white midsole. I don't like, I really don't want to have a white midsole or even a white sole because it just gets nasty. It's the hardest one to clean. I don't like having a white sole shoe. There's only like one white pair of shoes that I have and I barely wear them because of that. As far as the pricing, like I said, I got this for $120, it was on sale. There are a nice amount currently on sale. Every one of them is sold out in my size, go figure. Every time I want a pair of Nike shoes, they're always out of stock in my size. That leads me to getting the one pair of shoes that I really want, which are the Jordan Bread, I think they're Jordan 11's Breads. Yeah, those ones, I want those bad and they're very expensive and they never really have my size. So or my size is super expensive to get. That's the biggest issue for me right now, getting the Bread 11s. But I will suffice with this for right now. Do I recommend this pair of shoes? Absolutely. freaking lootly They are lightweight, they feel great on feet, and they're comfortable. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you wanna see next. Till next time, peace out.